this certificate from the Commonwealth of Virginia. <clears throat> the parliamentarians advise is the only certificate of vote from that state, purports to be a return from the state, has annexed a certificate of authority from that same state, purporting to appoint and ascertain electors. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the Commonwealth of Virginia seems to be in regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware received 13 votes for president, and Kamala D. Harris of the state of California received 13 votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of the vote of the Commonwealth of Virginia that the teller is verified as appearing regular, in form, and authentic? This certificate from Washington, the parliamentarians advise, is the only certificate of vote from that state, purports to be a return of the state, has a certificate of authority from the same state, purporting to appoint or ascertain electors. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Washington seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware received 12 votes for president, and Kamala D. Harris of the state of California received 12 votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of the vote of the state of Washington that the teller is verified and appears to be regular in form and authentic? Hearing none, this certificate from West Virginia, the parliamentarians advise, is the only certificate of vote from that state, purports to be a return from the state, has annexed a certificate of authority from the state purporting to appoint and ascertain electors. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of West Virginia seems to be, in regu seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida received five votes for president, and Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana received five votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of the vote for the state of West Virginia that the teller has verified appears to be regular in form and authentic? This certificate from Wisconsin Parliamentarians advise is the only certificate from that state, purports to be a return from the state, and has annexed to it a certificate of authority from the state purporting to appoint or ascertain electors. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Wisconsin seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Del Delaware received 10 votes for president, and Kamala D. Harris of the state of California received 10 votes for vice president. For what reason does the gentleman from Texas rise? Mr. President, I object to the electoral votes of the state of Wisconsin because 71 House members, all of whom condemn violence as we witness today, are firmly committed to the resolution of disagreements in civil, lawful, peaceful institutions with full and fair debate, free of violence, and though not a single court has allowed an evidentiary hearing to listen to the significant body of evidence of fraud, and though some seize on the court's failures to misrepresent that no court would listen to the evidence as saying evidence did not exist, while Democrat leaders in Milwaukee illegally and unconstitutionally created more than 200 illegal polling places, tens of thousands of votes were changed by workers despite election workers' objections, plus so many other illegalities to fraudulently create a 20,000 vote lead, we object along with a senator who now has withdrawn his objection. Sections 15 and 17 of Title III of the United States Code require that any objection be presented in writing, signed by a member of the House of Representatives and a senator. Is the objection in writing and signed by a member and a senator? It is in writing. It's signed by a member, but it is not uh, signed and objected to by a senator, Mr. President. In that case, the objection cannot be entertained. Mm -hmm. 
This certificate from Wyoming, the parliamentarians advise, is the only certificate of vote from that state and purports to be a return from the state as an annex of a certificate of authority from same state purporting to appoint and ascertain electors. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Wyoming seems to be regular in form and authentic. And it appears therefrom that Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida received three votes for president and Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana received three votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of the vote of the state of Wyoming that the teller has verified? It appears to be regular in form and authentic. Hearing none, the chair advises members of Congress, the certificates having been read, the tellers will ascertain and deliver the result to the president of the Senate. The undersigned, Roy Blunt and Amy Klobuchar, tellers on the part of the Senate, Zoe Lofgren and Rodney Davis, tellers on the part of the House of Representatives, report the following as a result of the ascertainment and counting of the electoral vote for President and Vice President of the United States for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021. The report we make is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots that have been given to us. He has a statement. He has a statement. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for President of the United States are as follows. Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware has received 306 votes. Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida has received 232 votes. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for Vice President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for Vice President of the United States are as follows. Kamala D. Harris of the state of California has received 306 votes. Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana has received 232 votes. The announcement of the state of the vote by the President of the Senate shall be deemed a sufficient declaration of the persons elected president and vice president of the United States, each for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021, and shall be entered together with the list of the votes on the journals of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The chair now recognizes for the purpose of closing prayer, the 62nd chaplain of the United States Senate Chaplain Barry C. Black. Let us pray. Lord of our lives and sovereign of our beloved nation, we deplore the desecration of the United States Capitol building, the shedding of innocent blood, the loss of life, and the quagmire of dysfunction that threaten our democracy. These tragedies have reminded us that words matter and that the power of life and death is in the tongue. We have been warned that eternal vigilance 
continues to be freedom's price. Lord, you have helped us remember that we need to see in each other a common humanity that reflects your image. You have strengthened our resolve to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, domestic as well as foreign. Use us to bring healing and unity to a hurting and divided nation and world. Thank you for what you have blessed our lawmakers to accomplish in spite of threats to liberty. Bless and keep us. Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to do your will and guide our feet on the path of peace. And God, bless America. We pray in your sovereign name. Amen.